When you turn on the TV, four brothers, or watch a movie, four criminals, chances are good Carrie Cecil had something to do with what you see. I always say, you know, the day you give up your dreams is the day they don't come true. I didn't want to bother you with it. From working side by side with Ted Turner to launch Turner Classic Movies, to working public relations on hit movies, to writing a sitcom and books, Cecil never stops. <laughs> In fact, the man once dubbed too vicious for the NFL is married to a woman too busy for her own good. My husband said when we got married and I had my daughter and my, my show was on, he said, honey, pick something and be that. <laughs> He's like, you're exhausted. When we were dating, she had her own business, uh, you know, uh, which was very, very successful. She was doing better than I was. <laughs> and For years, Cecil ran the Fortune 500 media strategy firm she founded in L.A., Anna Chell Communications, influencing the public images of ESPN, Turner Network Television, and NASCAR, to name a few. When you go to work for yourself, the buck stops with you. I'm talking about a couple of million dollars. It was during that time that Cecil worked on location at major motion picture movie sets around the world. For five weeks. You live on set next door to, you know, producers, directors, um, actors. It's spinning on a corporate level to help protect the image of the filmmakers and really portray the honesty of what they're they're doing. To save a friend. And her success doesn't stop there. Yeah, yeah. She's a published author. Her book, Emily's Reasons Why Not, was picked up in seven countries. I'm like Jerry Lewis in France. They love me in France. They don't they don't necessarily like me here. Like I can't get a, a new book, but in France I can. I can sell a lot of French fries there. So that's me, Emily Sanders. The book quickly became a sitcom by the same name in the States about a funny girl's search for love. Two faced man person. It was a show for about a second on ABC. I don't know what happened. No one still knows. Steve McPherson, why? He's the ABC chairman. Why? Why? She has a great sense of humor about it now. And this is how I know God has planned for your life, okay? Because if that show had taken off and I had to be on set show running, which is about 16 hours a day, sort of like being an NFL coach, my daughter and I would be there and my husband would be here. And so as sad as it was, and I mean, it was really, I mean, heartbreaking, um, I look back now and I get it. Kiri's written two movies since then and is working on another book. Her creative wheels are always spinning. Her characters always talking. They do. At night is, at night is um, because the house is quiet. I'll get up and just start writing stuff down. With all of her success, it's hard to see how she ever slowed down long enough to meet the Titans defensive coordinator. Truth is, they've been together since college. We've been together 24 years, on and off. <laughs> and married? I'm going to say seven, and then he's going to go, no, it's five, and then I'm going to go, no, it's eight. We've been married for six years, six plus years in, in July, so, uh, excuse me, June, <laughs> there you go. We're blessed. We giggle, and I still love to kiss him. He still gives me the flutter flutter. Yeah, I just, I feel really, 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 really lucky. Lucky in love from a gal who seems to never run out.